Hello everyone, welcome back to Learn How to Edit Stuff. My name is Ian, I've got a standing desk which is a new addition to the studio and also a brand new video in the Gen 3 Alpha Saga. And today's video is gonna be all about image to video. And yes, image to video is exactly what you think it is. You take a picture or you make a picture and then you turn that picture into a video. And to keep with the common Gen 3 Alpha video themes, we're gonna start things off with a banger montage. <laughs> Okay, Ian, why is this technology useful? Well, first and foremost, it allows you to compose your frame and your scene before you even turn it into a video in the first place. With text to video, you kind of have to have the vision in your head before you put it into a text prompt. But with image to video, you're literally looking at the first frame before you turn it into a video. And that's gonna allow you to stylize multiple frames and then create multiple videos to create, create? to create a cohesive video sequence. For example, if I'm making a cinematic video about a jungle swamp on another planet, I can make sure to iterate and stylize all of my starting frames before turning them into a video, making the video creation process that much easier. Okay, Ian, child's play. We knew that you could do that. Show us something cooler. Okay, how about this? You could draw an absolutely horrendous image in Photoshop and then take that image and run it through image to image to turn your horrible drawing into something actually decent and then take that output and turn it into a video. Drawing to image to video. Pretty cool. And one of the other cool things you can do is you can actually prompt to take your starting image in a completely different direction. For example, I have this guy looking up into the sky looking scared. So now I can prompt for something like spaghetti falls on the man's head as the camera slowly pushes forward. And then I get this absolute masterpiece. So you can opt to prompt on top of the image or just run the image with no prompt at all. The choice is yours. Ian, come on, man, you can do better than that, okay. How about being able to generate your own visual effects? You can literally create any image on a green background, then animate the image, key it out, and composite it into an existing video. And of course, if you wanted to take it one step further, you can take a screenshot from a live action video, run it through image to image, clean up the frame, animate the background with image to video, then recomposite it back into the video with motion tracking and added effects. And you've basically just done Hollywood level visual effects by yourself in your bedroom in 30 minutes for a fraction of the cost. Guys, stick with me on this one. Oh, I see, so learn how to edit stuff. Just drop some knowledge about combining generative video with live action video and editing with post-production stuff. I think that that deserves a like and a comment uh, in the comment section below. Probably a thumbs up on this video as well. I like the standing desk format. I can do all sorts of stuff back here. This is great, the energy's feeling good. Okay, so do all the stuff and smash the things and we're gonna jump into the tutorial things in advance. Okay, so I grab this video off ArtGrid and the first thing I'm gonna do is take a screenshot of the first frame of the video and then I'm gonna bring that image into Runway and toss it into the Erase and Replace tool. Paint over our hazmat guy and then prompt for a building and some grass to get rid of him entirely. And then I'm gonna take that background plate into the Image to Image tool and we're gonna prompt for an apocalyptic looking background. From here, I'm gonna give it a quick upscale in Magnific to bring some extra details back into the shot, but you don't have to do this if you don't want to. Then finally, I'm gonna bring that image into Image to Video and prompt for smoke rises from an abandoned building on fire. The camera remains static and does not move. And now that we have our background plate, we can extract our foreground plate. So I'm gonna go back into Runway, toss the original video into the Remove Background tool to create a super fast roto of my subject, and then export that video as a ProRes file and bring it back into After Effects. So now we've got our background and foreground elements, but we need to do some camera tracking on the original video clip. So let's bring that into After Effects and put the 3D camera tracker on it to track the camera in the scene. Pick a target that's facing the camera, right click on it and create solid and camera. Now bring in your background plate, make it a 3D layer, and then I want you to copy the positioning data from the solid layer and paste it onto your background layer and then scale it up appropriately and move it only on the X and Y axis to position it inside the frame. If you want, you can lower the opacity and match it up to the background of the original video one-to-one, -one, but not really necessary. 
Now you can drop your roto layer on top and then play the video back and make sure that the background clip stays in frame the whole time. And if it doesn't, just adjust the scale and the position until it does. Now you're gonna color grade your subject so it matches the background and add any additional elements like smoke or fire, making sure to also make them 3D layers. And then you're gonna add any additional effects on top like grain or extra color grade. And ladies and gentlemen, you have just combined live action video with generated AI video and it's pretty damn cool. Honestly, you don't even really have to do the image to image step. You could theoretically just generate an entirely new background and follow all of the same steps. But I'm kind of a purist for preserving the background of the original video just cause it's an added cool step. But you can do whatever you want. The concept still applies. You can mix and match and do whatever you want. Generated AI video with live action video combined. You learned it at Learn How to Edit Stuff. Drop a comment in the comment section. Smash that thumbs up button. Smash the subscribe button if you already haven't because we learned something today. Ian, wow, I'm not gonna lie. I am very impressed by everything you just taught me, but is it good for anything else? Of course it is. Memes. It's always for the memes. You went to film school and didn't make films, but you made me. always memes. Do me a favor, I want you to think outside the box on this one, guys, because the use cases are practically unlimited. And the better this technology becomes, the more viable it becomes for creators like you and me who love to blend traditional techniques with emerging ones. And it's gonna get fun. It already is pretty fun. And with that being said, I'd like you to drop a comment in the comment section below and let me know how you plan on using image to video. Is it for music videos? Is it for DJ visuals? Is it for cinematic stuff? Let me know in the comment section below. My name is Ian. This is Learn How to Edit Stuff. Thank you so much for watching this video and this tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Smash that subscribe button if you already haven't. Drop a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed my content. I'm gonna flex the standing desk and maybe sit back here for this one and I will see you in the next one.